Hey everyone, welcome back to Luigi's Play. And in today's video, I've got some exciting news for all you Switch emulators fans. If you've been following regions, you know that it got taken down by Nintendo. But guess what? There is a new fork of regions and it's back in action. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you about it, teach you how to download and set it up on your PC, Linux and Mac OS, and also go through some of the latest updates with this new version. So stick around because I'll be showing you everything you need to know. But before we dive in, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more emulator news and tutorial. Let's get started. So if you didn't know, Regions was taken down by Nintendo recently with a DMCA notice, which basically meant the official project was removed from places like GitHub. But don't worry, it's not over for Regions. A developer named Grim Dev has stepped in and created a fork of Regions, keeping the whole things alive and kicking. This new fork picks up where the original Regions left off. So you can still play your favorite Switch games on PC. It's great to see that the community is keeping things going. Now, you are probably wondering where can I get this new region fork. The good news is that it is available on GitHub. So now follow me and let's go download and set it up. Okay, so to get the emulator, you first have to open your browser and then head over to the GitHub page, which is like this, which is this URL. Visit the GitHub page, you should see something like this. And here you should see version 1.2.81 and also version 1.2.80. Now this version got released and the fixes are just minor. And to download the emulator, just scroll down here and under the assets section, you should see your emulators available over here. Now, if you are a Linux user, you will have to choose between the Linux, which is this one, and we also have the Apple image version here. And for the Mac OS users, you have to go for the Mac OS. So um, for the Windows users, you have to go with this one. You have to download this one, which is Win S64. So um, choose the Win S64 version if you have Microsoft Windows or Windows 10 or Windows 11. So what you have to do is you right click it and then you download the emulator. I've already downloaded the emulator so I'll go ahead and then show you this is the emulator that we just downloaded. So it's in the zip file, we will, we will need to extract this file over here. And to do that, you can use a program like WinRAR or 7-zip. So I won't waste your time here. So, so for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using WinRAR. To extract it, you right click and then using WinRAR, you select WinRAR. Okay, now we are going to um, open the emulator like this. So here you should see your emulator available and this is the emulator this is the region fork the new version or the new regions this is it but please note before we continue with the installation there are two things that i have to tell you you will need to um for switch to work on your pc you will need a firmware and a product key so when you look here i already have my switch firmware and also the product keys i'm not going to show you how i'm not going to teach you how to get that but you should suit yourself on getting these two the firmware and the product keys so after getting it let's proceed with the installation open the app and then you right click it either you run it as administrator or you go ahead and you run it okay so this is what you are going to see when you launch the emulator at first time you're going to see something like regions error keys not found and remember i told you that before um before you can install any switch emulator there are two things that you need one which is the switch firmware and also switch product keys so i already have my product keys here so i'll go ahead and then extract my product key okay so to install the product keys just press on ok over here like this and then um you open file or you come to the action session like this come this this session 
and then you select install product keys so if your product keys comes as in the form of zip file you select this one and if you've already extracted your product keys in the folder you select this and then you select the folder that contains your extracted product keys so to make things easy for you i'll go with the first one which is this one i'll select this and then locate the folder that contains my product keys so this is my product keys so i'll go ahead and then open it here with this prompt all you have to do is just press on ex like this it says new keys file it says new keys file successfully installed just press on ok now left with last one and what we are going to do is we are going to install the firmware to do that head over to the action section like this and then this time around select install firmware i mean select this one so we, we will be using the first method which is we are going to install the firmware as it is in the zip file so you select this one and then you select the folder that contains your firmware so in this manner this is my switch firmware it's in the zip file so i'll select this one and also press on open like this it says install firmware version 19 just press on yes okay so we successfully installed the switch firmware just press on okay now please note your switch firmware and the product keys must be the same version you can use firmware version 19 and install product key vers version 17 your versions must go with i mean your switch firmware version must go with your product key version so if you have a firmware version 19 then your product keys too must have a version 19 so we are seeing this this is the emulator and then there is nothing over here so to make our games appear here just head over to the emulation side like this and then you select on settings here like this you should see something like game directories what this simply means is that we will add the folder that contains our switch games so game directory here you press on this thing which is which says add games add game directory so we'll press on this one and then locate the folder that contains your switch games after that you press on select folder and then you press on apply press on okay so from here you should see your switch games so from here you should see your switch games loading like this and as you can see i have my switch games over here now to set up the controller you have to do what you have to do is come to the settings like this open settings and then select on input this one and to make sure your controller is connected to your pc or device so here you should see something like player one so this go with the one player or player one and if you have two controllers connected after setting the player one you will do the same thing to player two so this time around let's go with player one and then under inputs under input device you press on it and then you select your connected controller so let's say if you have um xbox 360 controller connected you should see your xbox 360 controller over here and if you have maybe ps5 controller connected you should see something like dualshock playstation blah 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 controller connected so when you see your controller you have to press press on it to select your controller and then here with the pro type i always go with the pro controller better still you can go with the joy con but i prefer selecting the pro controller like this so um after that you you have to you just have to press apply like this and then you press on 
okay like this now let's tweak the settings more to do that come to the settings like this and then under graphics make sure your um, graphic backend is on Vulkan because I always prefer you guys to use Vulkan like this and uh, your and your preferable GPU when you select it if you have a dual GPU you should see them listed here but I already have one GPU in my computer which is the GTS 1070 Ti so obviously I'll select that GPU for a better performance so you select it and then with the anti-aliasing you can always choose to put it on none for performance gain so after that you just press on apply and then press on ok like this so um when you notice or when you look here like this and seeing this this thing over here seeing this um i can see that the logo is slightly different from the popular or the old regions emulator the reason why the logo is different is that this is is because this is a fork of the popular regions emulator by grim dev so i think that's all for today and if you really like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you